sound check, frame check, light check. Here we go. I wanted to do a little bit of an update on the shop, kind of where we are, and uh, just I've been just doing things kind of incrementally. I'm by no means finished, but just wanted to show you what I've got done because since we did the last video where I was talking about like my shop, I've actually had my floor sealed by Quality Pro Coatings. This is the shop and I couldn't be more excited. We've got Quality Pro Coatings here today and they are transforming my shop floor. They did an incredible job. I may have the guys actually on the show here just to kind of talk because they're actually dirt bikers too, but they did an incredible job with my floor here and I wanted to show you. So now once the floor was done, then I felt like, oh, my shop is actually coming together. And I felt like I was finally starting to get moved in. So I don't have a ton of bikes here to show you, but I kind of want to show you a little bit about what's going on around the shop and how I, things, how I have things set up so far as this is an ever evolving process. So I couldn't be happier with this shop. Um, I've got heat in here. I've got good light in here. Um, I've got a computer that I can like look stuff up online. I've got my tools. And so I just wanted to kind of show you the setup as it is for right now. And uh, let's take a peek, especially at this amazing floor. So you gotta admit. And if you're in Utah, you need to look these guys up because they do fantastic. They've done two floors for me over the past, well, from 2015 to now. So over eight or nine years, and they are amazing, super quick, super professional. So if you wanna get your garage done, um, there's a link, there should be, a, well, I mean, I'll link to the social, um, their social right here. I'll probably like see if I can put up their website up on the screen, but that's, uh, let's talk about the floor, let's talk about the shop, and let's go around and take a peek at some things. Okay, let's just call the elephant out in the room and say, look how amazing that floor looks. So this is Quality Pro Coatings, these guys. They did an absolutely incredible job with this floor and it's not like too busy because in my last floor it was more, it was a little bit busy as far as the flake and it was, inc it was incredibly difficult to see bolts and parts and things when you drop it on the ground. So we went with a different style this time and I, I just absolutely love it. So here's, here's the front door. So I've got two main obviously garage doors and then that's the walk-in door that I use all the time. Um, we've also got heat in here and this heater, if I can get this to come up here, this heater is absolutely incredible. It heats this place up so well. I just absolutely love that thing. It's a natural gas heater. So that's awesome. Just hooked into the house. Um, and then I've got this uh, California air tools, air compressor. This thing is money because it's not like too loud. Um, and I just, I love that. So I'm always airing up, you know, dirt bike tires, bike tires, even car tires and things. So I wanna get, a, I have a reel in my old shop, like a like a, a roll up reel that I think I might steal from my old shop that my boys kinda of use, but they don't really use it that much anymore. And yeah, then I've got my chair to just kinda of sit in. Uh, as you can see, I have kind of like the studio slash place that I work on the bikes is back here in the back, um, in the back corner. So. As we come back here, um, obviously I've got kind of a charging station for some of my different things like a weed eater and a lawnmower and then just like, you know, power tools. And that's also where I'll charge up my daughter's little Stasic. And it's also where I will charge this, uh, elect this electric motion Escape R, this kind of like trial slash trail bike that is electric and the boys like to like to bomb around on that in the neighborhood. And then we've got those other two tri actual trials bikes. Um, but yeah, so the bench is the thing that is the most unorganized usually. So I just have like, you know, some implements here and then different things hanging on the wall. This is like kind of a work in progress still on exactly how I want to organize this. But then I've got like paint and different things down in, you know, the cabinets. As we move over here, this is the spot that mostly you guys see in the videos, which is where I film and where I actually work on the bikes. So right now I don't have a whole lot of motorcycles in here. We're kind of like pared down. These are two motorcycles that I'm giving away in this December sweepstakes. So if you go to my website, um, you can get entered to win those as long as you're doing it here in December of 2023, because it ends uh, on New Year's Eve, basically December 31st at midnight is when the sweepstakes ends for that. Um, coming over here, uh, this is a bench that I made. I love this bench. I built that several years ago and then I've got the computer sitting on the desk. This is an old, one of those old trash can Mac Pros from like 2012, so it's like 12 years old, but it does great for just like 
looking things up and and whatever online inside here i just keep like you know gloves and then different lubricants and different types of things like grease and different stuff up there those are my um mo tool uh slacker scales for install uh, for uh, doing um sag setting sag keep paper towels up in here and then i've got other things up in here everything from like you know sc1 suspension clean contact cleaners and some different uh you know chemicals and stuff that i use on the bikes all the time in the corner we've got our that's a, a lift a dirt bike lift back down there that i'll use sometimes if i want to get the bikes up higher obviously a tire changing station and then my toolbox so i haven't actually gone through the toolbox at all here to check and see how it's going to look but you'll just, so you're just going to see exactly what it looks like all the time so i keep basically end wrenches these are metric up on top and then we've got some uh, nut drivers here some different things um, this is all the stand the, like this is kind of a messier drawer because it's like the standard wrenches which i hardly ever use on dirt bikes but then we've got like loctite and we've got some epoxy and we've got some different things just kind of kicking in here then like a little tool bin that has some different parts inside of it to keep it a little bit more organized there down here a lot of different cotter a lot of cotter keys and things like that um just some random parts and things same thing over here got some picks and some uh parts to carburetors and different stuff and then we have a bunch of like um you know tire plugs and contact cleaner and the, this is like well rubber cement i should say this is like for wiring on grips and things and then just some rando tools that you don't like here's the um you know just just different tools like snap snap ring pliers and and like spanner wrenches and then here's the thing to put on your grips if you're going to wire your grips that kind of stuff this i think is a spoke torque wrench down in there which i don't use a ton here's just kind of a random drawer i've got breaker bars in here i've got tools for doing oil changes um you know some different things like you've got pliers for uh master links and things like that so just some random things in here these are like tools to pull off um, springs for um, exhausts and things and then like cutoff wheels for my grind for my grinder and you know a flap disc for uh the three inch grinder we got calipers in here you know some good stuff and then mallets that's a torque wrench um we've got files you know we've got a dremel tool here that i end up using and then rando stuff down here everything from i can't remember what's in there like a bleeder kit uh we've got you know the map gas torch we have um, a heat gun again here's the three inch angle grinder or whatever that's a torque wrench that ac delco torque wrench so and i have a battery powered angle grinder as well up on top you know i keep a bolt kit these are some super sweet tools these are some torque uh torque spits man i can't do that I got some really awesome grip edge Torx bits up here, uh, quarter drive and three eighths drive. Those are one of my new favorite tools up on the wall here. I've got this T handle hanger. So I've got a bunch of different T handles in here. These are like ball end T handles. I don't know if that'll, that's not going to focus. Sorry. Uh, ball end T handles for like hex bits or whatever. Hex head T handles. Obviously, this is probably the tool that I use the most, this um, spinner, and that won't focus, and it's hard for me to do that. So just the Motion Pro T handle, why will you not focus? Anyway, I, I'm holding the camera with like a gimbal on it, so it's really hard for me to focus it if I'm holding something else. In here, sockets, you know, this is, this is all of my uh, three eighths drive sockets mostly using just obviously the metric down here these are quarter drive sock quarter drive sockets and things like that and then i've got some other torque stuff um, in here scissors measuring tape that kind of thing going down one more we've got pliers and vice grips and then here screwdrivers um, and different things like uh, valve core tools and exacto knife and things of that nature so that's kind of what we've got going on there obviously we have 
Um, the parts trays, magnetic parts trays right here. I sell these things. I probably, I might be out of them, out of stock. Inside of this cabinet, we have tools. I mean, oils, mostly oils up on top and then air filters down below, um, funnels and things like that. Rando tools um, and rando parts for dirt bikes kind of down in the bottom shelf. So there we are. Got another workbench over here. This has got my TV, which is super fun to be able to just uh, be out here and watch some TV while you're working on bikes, like if there's a football game going or whatnot. This area is still a work in progress. I've got everything from, you know, the tires um, down here to maybe sus some suspension stuff on top, um, some, some old gear. This is, I use, a lot of times I use this gear for setting sag on dirt bikes or whatever, so I can throw on a bunch of gear to mimic my weight when I'm riding, you know? And then I'll keep like, oh, if I get a box with the bike, I'll be like, okay, that's, that goes with this bike or that bike or whatever. So, and then I've got a spare uh, rim set. Those are some Tusk Impact rims um, that are kind of like my spare wheel set that I need to put on a bike. Obviously we've got a ladder for changing out lights and things. Over here, I've got an oil canister for when I do oil changes on like the truck and the car and things like that. Air mover, some rando stuff like that. The shop came with this lift, which I'm super happy with. I've loved using this thing for like oil changes on my car or on my truck or whatever. And like um, doing tire rotations and things of that nature. So yeah. And then I've got like a fridge that is not plugged in. This is basically just being stored because I got a new fridge from inside. And then rando stuff over here for like RC cars. Me and the boys have gotten into RC cars a little bit. So got some gun stuff over here, gun cleaning stuff, and obviously um, the safe, which is bolted down to the floor, which we won't, we don't need to go into that anyway have a security system in here, cameras, the whole thing, and the safe is bolted down. So if you tried to come in here, you'd get busted for sure. But anyway, this is, this is the shop. I love the floor. So like we've got a big door on this side. This is like a 13 foot, 13, 14 foot door. So I can back like my boat in here. Sometimes in the summer, I'll kind of keep my boat in here, um, right here in between the car lift, which is kind of cool. But now, as you can see, I don't have anything in here. So I can park cars in here, trucks in here, do all that kind of stuff. And then I got my utility trailer um, just sitting right outside the shop, the utilities trailer that I go on like dirt bike trips and camping trips and all that fun stuff. So that is the shop as we've got it thus far. I did put some flags and stuff up there, um, but the heater, the, the heater has kind of blown that one flag off the hook. You can see that black flag, it's just kind of hanging down. I need to bring the ladder back over there and fix that. But that gives you an idea of what we've got going on so far in the shop. Those are, you know, lights. These right here are studio lights that I'm using when I'm sitting there uh, doing the filming and everything. So yeah, that's kind of what we have going on in here. Um, again, work in progress, but it's been really nice to kind of just get into my own space. It's been like a dream of mine to have a shop and I like keeping it clean. I like it keeping it semi-organized, um, not to the point of like OCD, but I do like kind of having things organized a little bit. And yeah, so it's been fun to work in here and to like make videos and do different things. And I'm looking forward to a lot more time of of doing that. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you got some ideas for your shop. If you have ideas for what I should be doing here, send me an email. It's kyle at dirtbikechannel.com. That's the best way to get a hold of me. I don't typically read the comments down in the, uh, down in the YouTube feed. So send me an email, kyle at dirtbikechannel.com. And I think that's what I've got for you. So uh, anyway, hopefully you're having a fantastic holiday season. Merry Christmas and leave a single track.